Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is Caleb Ryder and in this video, we're gonna be talking about three ways that you can make money using flash loans. For those of you that don't know, flash loans are a way that you can borrow up to millions of dollars worth of cryptocurrency for a very short period of time, as long as you pay that money back within the same transaction. So the goal of a flash loan is to borrow a sum of money, perform some sort of profitable transaction, then you pay back the loan and keep whatever profit you made minus any transaction fees. A proper flash loan has very little risk because it will only execute if the transaction will be profitable. The first way you can make money with flash loans is exchange arbitrage. And this is probably the most popular and competitive way to make money using flash loans. All arbitrage is, is profiting off of the discrepancy in price of an asset on two different marketplaces. So for example, if exchange A is selling some arbitrary token for $100, and exchange B is selling that same token for $101, you can buy that token from exchange A and then sell it to exchange B and profit that $1 difference. And this is excluding fees for the sake of simplicity. The price discrepancies on these exchanges are usually pretty small and you'd be right to say a $1 profit isn't very significant, but that's where flash loans come into play. Because flash loans allow you to borrow millions of dollars, those small profits can actually turn into something quite significant with enough volume. So let's say I used a flash loan to borrow $1 million I could repeat that transaction in the previous example 10,000 times. And if I made $1 for each token, that would be $10,000 of profit. The second example of how you can make money with flash loans is from liquidations. There are various DeFi lending platforms that allow traders to take out leveraged positions based on a percentage of the assets that they have stored on that platform. That percentage is sometimes referred to as the LTV or loan to value ratio. Let's say a certain DeFi platform has a required LTV of 80%. That means if you deposit, we'll say $10,000 worth of Ethereum onto that platform, the most that you'd be able to borrow against that would be $8,000. So let's say you borrowed $8,000 worth of USDC against your $10,000 worth of Ethereum, but the price of Ethereum actually drops. If that were the case, you would have exceeded your maximum LTV ratio and your position would be at risk of liquidation. The reason these DeFi platforms have LTVs is to manage risk. And these platforms will also give out incentives known as liquidation discounts to liquidators. So you can actually become a liquidator using flash loans where you borrow money and then pay off other people's debt and then you keep that incentive as profit. And the third way that you can make money using flash loans is through attacks and exploits. And just to be perfectly clear, I am not recommending that you take advantage of this method. I'm simply explaining it so that you can better understand some of the risks involved with cryptocurrency. Typically, these exploits occur when an attacker finds a bug in the code of a cryptocurrency or platform. The severity of these exploits is highly dependent on the type of bug that the attacker is exploiting. But the nature of flash loans allowing you to borrow millions of dollars worth of cryptocurrency sometimes make it easier for these attackers to scale their attacks. We've seen various exploits where attackers have been able to mint tokens that they weren't supposed to and then cash them out. But perhaps the most common type of flash loan attacks that we've seen are when attackers will use these flash loans to manipulate the price of liquidity pools and their assets. In this video, we discussed how to leverage flash loans to make money through exchange arbitrage, liquidations, and exploits. Let us know in the comments if you'd like a more in-depth video on any of these topics. So the main takeaway from this video is that there are countless ways to make money using flash loans, and I think you'll have the best success if you're thinking outside of the box and hopefully doing things ethically. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.